You're now listening to a Rat House Production Podcast. For more podcasts like this, head to R-E-T-T-H-A-U-S dot net. Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to the Hooray for Jose podcast. And once again, I have my buddy Justin here. What up? Dude, it's been uh, a little while since we, we last uh, last talked. It's It's been a while, and I gotta say, Jose, I am impressed with how far this has gone, dude. Uh, me too. <laughs> I mean, really it's, just... It's been a, a lot of work. A lot, a lot of work. Oh, I could, I, I could imagine, but I mean, it's very, like, just the whole setup, just getting started and fucking... Yeah. Well, you, yeah, you remember my old setup, it was a lot, a lot different, a lot, oh. lot shantier. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, but now we actually got our, our own little spot here at Red this House. Is, you know what, I am impressed, I look up to you because you kind of, you've been doing this for a long time and you kind of like took this three, full years. force. Yeah, well, that, that's the thing, uh, me and uh, my buddy Matt, or MTR as everybody else knows him, um... We've both been pretty much podcasting around like the same time. Uh huh. And then I noticed that he was podcasting. He was pos- podcasting a little bit before me. And we were just talking about podcasting one day and just like messing each other and all that stuff. And then we started talking about like, hey, why don't we kind of j- try to like join forces or start a network? And we we're just, just throwing some ideas out there. And then sure enough, uh, a few years or like a year or two later, like Rat House became what it is. Like Rat House became just official. And uh, we were talking about, I think we were on our way to a slide bar in Fullerton to have like a, just a, a lunch and like meeting and stuff like that. Just talk about stuff. And mm-hmm. I told him like, hey, there's a really good podcast out there. It's called Everything Bagel. Uh, you should check them out. He's like, oh, yeah, I'll check them out. And eventually Interesting he, name, he, Everything yeah, Bagel. Oh, it's such a good podcast. You would like it. Dude. Yeah. You would like it a lot. Yeah, Steve is the shit. I'll give it then, a shot. Yeah, then like um, he hit him up and then all of a sudden Everything Bagel podcast became a part of Rat House and then. He asked me, Matt asked me to be a part of That's Life, like to come on as a guest. Then eventually I became a co-host of That's Life, which I think we're going to do that after this show. And then um, I got introduced to my co-host, Mike, and me and him really got started talking about paranormal stuff and how we like this. You know, we went on a ghost hunt and all that stuff. And we're like, dude, why don't we just start a podcast, like a paranormal podcast? Let's, let's do it. And yeah. It just goes like that. And you just, it just becomes one big just tumbleweed where... You're just, it's like a snowball effect, you know, just keep yeah. going. And and let me ask you this. I mean, because that's a very uh, out of left field genre for a yeah. podcast. You know, I mean, there's got to be a whole community of those, is there? Of paranormal? Um, of paranormal? Oh, yeah, there's tons. There's, there's tons be, out there. Right? But it, it's awesome because everyone has their own different experiences and everyone portrays their own experiences differently. Yes. Yes. So, like, you can have similar experiences at the same time, but it'll mean something different to you, you know? Yeah, and and you sound like a crazy person. <laughs> oh, definitely. <laughs> People are looking at you like, bro, oh, really? You're talking about fucking like unicorns that'll fucking kill someone? It's like, dude. dude well, let me ask you this. Man. I mean, for you for you to put this much energy into a podcast, I mean, clearly something substantial has happened to you, correct? Right? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. So I've, I mean, I've like had, what? I've had my my experiences with like the paranormal stuff. Yeah, I mean. Dude. Oh man, my old house. Um, like I literally just got done talking about this on Hunt for the Paranormal. The old uh, spot right here. Yeah. By the center. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I actually saw my, my recliner kind of semi move. I saw it like three times or so, like two or three times Yeah, happening, uh, well, just in the middle of the night, you see it just slowly moving. And I try to watch TV, just try to ignore it. Um, I remember being outside at like one thirty in the morning and all of a sudden, like I hear, I'm smoking a cigarette outside and all I hear is, Hey, huh? The fuck is that? <clears throat> yeah. <gasps> And I look, I thought it was like my mom trying to fuck with me. I thought she was outside having a smoke or something. Your mom fucks with you like that? Oh, dude, (laughs) my whole family, we we like scaring each other. Like, that's all we do is scare each other. Yeah. But I look, and my mom's not there. And I look in my neighbor's yard, and the light's off. And they have one of those sensor lights. So if somebody was back there, it'd be on and stay on for a little bit. But no one out there, no one in our back neighbor's house, like in their yard, just no one around. Yeah. And I was like, huh. I'm like, I know I did not just hear a clear, hey. I'm like, no, that won't, that won't 
happen. That doesn't just happen that way. Yeah. So, so you were sober, of, sober. Yeah, as I was a sober as hell. <laughs> uh, my friend, she was living with me for like two weeks with them because she needed a place to stay, and she had, and that's why I went outside because she's like, "Hey, I'm gonna be there in a little bit." I'm like, okay. And then I hear that, and I'm like, "What the hell?" And then I see her car pull up, so I'm like, "Okay, it wasn't her trying to fuck with me." Yeah. And then like she came in, I'm like, "You want to hear something creepy?" She's like, "Nope, no, 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 no," and just walked Jeez. in. Jeez. But uh, I also uh, provoked because I was watching Ghost Adventures making some food, you know. And they started provoking. And then I heard like some slamming and stuff. And it, like, it was one of the doors. But then I heard like a big thud. I was like, what the fuck? Like, I heard like, doom, doom. What the fuck is that? And I look, and uh, the fan that my parents put on their window had fallen down. I guess it hit the bed and hit the floor. Yeah. And then so I pick it up, you know, make sure it's dirty. And then I uh, go back and I, you know, I walk by my sister's door, which was a little bit like cracked open. When I walk back, it's completely open. I was like, I didn't think about, oh, it's probably just a draft or something. Me walking by, kind of, yeah, or whatever. Then uh, I'm sitting there and stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, I hear another doom. I was like, what the fuck? And I look, and my aunt's door is completely fucking closed now, which was open and just slammed closed. It's like, what the fuck? That's weird. So I go, I go open it, looking. I'm like, her windows are closed. I'm like, that's fucking weird. And I walk back, and now my sister's door is back to how it was before, where it was a little bit cracked open, going from wide open to a little bit cracked. Yeah. Like, huh. I'm like, okay. So then that's when I start seeing that the people in Ghost Adventures are provoking. So I start provoking. I'm like, is that all you got? Show me that you're do something. And boom, boom. I was like, what the fuck what? was that? What the fuck? So I go look. That's nuts. And I'm like, what the hell? And I open the door and I see that uh, I look in my mom's room again and the fan is on the floor again. I was like, okay. I'm like, maybe I didn't put it on right. You know, trying to be like logical with it. Yeah. I'm like, no, I don't know. So I put it back up. I'm like, wait, no, I heard two thuds. What the fuck is that? I'm looking in every room and nothing. And then I look at my sister's room and there's like a bottle of lotion in the middle of the fucking room. I was like, what the fuck? Then I'm like, fuck this. I just close the door, walk back to the room. My sisters come home like, dude, why do you that look like all what ghost is yeah. jacking off They're in like, the other <laughs> room all that fucking lotion? <laughs> just stroking it. <laughs> hey, you're, hey, you're provoking him. He's fucking rubbing right, right now. He's like, he's like, yeah, <laughs> fucking talk dirty. <laughs> Motherfucking talk dirty. Get out. That's what he's saying. Hey, get the fuck out of my room. I'm, I'm busy. I'm trying to do something here. No, my sisters get home. They're like, dude, like, they're like, why do you look freaked out? I'm like, quick question. I'm like, your lotion, where was it? Or where is it? She's like, oh, it's on my dresser, like in the back, like up against the wall. Yeah. I'm like, no, it's not. It's in the middle of the room. She's like, why? I'm like, it fucking flew off. Like, she's like, what? It's in the middle of the fucking room. I ain't going in there. I ain't touching it. It's crazy. Like, yeah. I mean, like everyone's got a story. Everyone's got like, you know, the, do you believe in prayer? And you know, not everybody because some people don't. I mean, I do. It sounds ridiculous, but it's like, I don't know. It's weird. It's, it's you don't believe it until you see it, but then you, when you see it, you're questioning if you saw that shit or not. Yeah, it gets completely fucking scary. Like you don't know if it's real. Like maybe my mind's just playing tricks on me. I've seen too many like uh, horror films or something, or yeah. you know, it's just uh, maybe I'm tired. Something's fucking with me. But if it starts happening enough, you start to believe. You're like, all right, something is really trying to like fuck with me, like spiritually or yeah. something. See, the, the, the sketchy part is, like, with me, is, like, I, I've had a few occurrences, but it was right around when those movies came, so mm -hmm. I don't know, like, <laughs> you know, I don't know if I could test the legitimacy of, like, I think I, what happened, all right, so, a couple occurrences. Mm -hmm. One was the first time, it sounds fucking crazy, but, I mean, I remember, so, uh, you know, I'm in my room, I didn't go out, I was living at my dad's house at the time, and uh, I hear something, I hear footsteps. And like going down the hallway, right? Yeah. And I'm like, okay, you know. And and we had one hallway from like, you know, my dad had a room right here, and then the kitchen and all the other shit on the other side of the house, right? Yeah. So, and I hear footsteps going that way, but then I never hear him come back. But then I hear footsteps going that way again. I'm like, what the hell? So I look out my door, quiet. The house is just quiet. Yeah. And then so, all right, whatever. I go back in my bed, and then I hear again. And this time I'm all sketched out. So I look down the hallway <laughs> and like for two minutes, just pitch black, silence, just quiet. And, and I'm just poking my head out like some yeah. fucking tweak. You, know, you, like, you, know, you do. You feel like a crack. Yeah. You keep looking out. And like, then I'm like, what the, all right. It's over there. And then nothing. I don't hear nothing. And then uh, and then I go back to my bed and all of a sudden I hear it again. And I'm like, fuck that, dude. I wait until the sun came up and that's when I did my <laughs> business around the house. But You're like, nope. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, and then fucking a, with this. another time, dude, um, Again, like I was living at my dad's house and I hear this whoosh, boom, 
like this on the, on my wall where my bed was leaning against. I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? And I open my door. As soon as I open my door, my dad, my stepmom opened their door. They're like, hey, did you just get home or something? Mm-hmm. And I was like, no, I didn't even go out tonight. And then so we legit like checked all the doors and everything. Oh, yeah, the, it's scary. It, it sounds like somebody's yeah. like breaking in. You're like, dude, yeah. what the fuck? And then, it, yeah, and, and nobody was there. And then it even gets deeper, dude. Like it gets... <laughs> this is the way I usually don't even I'm going to say it on a podcast I don't give a shit but this legitimately happened and I'm fucking believe me or not dude so I remember um, I'd be laying down and it's crazy because we I didn't even bring in this paranormal shit like you brought this up yeah, you know I love paranormal but stuff, man. dude like I remember uh, it started like I'd like lay down on my bed right and then I'd feel my body just like just like sliding like sliding down like my bed but slowly right yeah and at first I'm like what the fuck like you know I didn't think it was nothing you're like man you my know? bed's a little uneven like, <laughs> and then it and then it would happen again like where I'm like ha- I feel like I'm half awake and then I feel just my body just shifting down my bed right yeah and one day I felt like I was sleeping on my stomach and I felt like my body turn over and then slide I'm like what the fuck is going and I was I started tripping I started looking in online like like you know, like yeah. there's something sometimes when you're half like, asleep, yeah, half awake. There's the, like that sleep mental paralysis. tryptamine fucking releasing or. Dude, I don't know what the fuck, but, uh, <laughs> but all all I know is that I'm fucking moving on my bed, but I'm not moving. You know. Yeah, it's and, weird. Did, so, did you feel like anything like pulling your legs or anything? I didn't feel anything pulling my legs, but I did feel my body just kind of like sliding. You know. Yeah. And and you know like when you're moving like say like if you move your arm across the sofa there's a feeling your yeah. skin's feeling the material yeah. that's being dragged along I felt my body being dragged so I felt like it fucking happened you know <laughs> long story like, short it fucking I know, happened I know how you feel man you like you say something you're like dude I, I like while you're saying you're like I, I feel like the thing I'm fucking crazy but yeah. no I know I know I the don't feeling. give a shit what they think because yeah. I know I was there yeah. and I felt my that's, the that's, sensation of that's the difference between like telling like somebody hearing the story and then actually being the one who experienced it because yeah. you know you're like i don't care if you think okay it, it fucking happened i know what i experienced i know what i saw i know what i felt you know and, and that's the thing too like you're you're kind of dipping into um some uncharted waters here because you i mean you, you're dedicating a podcast to something that really a lot of people don't even believe just because shit hasn't happened yeah. to them you know and 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 you're fucking taking it full speed you know you're you're yeah. having all these conversations well, you're doing your your investigative work i mean just yeah, from we, what you were we, telling we love me. it man like it we we all have a a big uh, like in it. Like uh, Chris here, he likes uh, the stuff about uh, hunt for the paranormal. He he loves stuff about paranormal stuff, hunting ghosts and you know any kind of like creatures or demons and all that stuff. It's just it's super interesting and it's I think it's mostly the fact of uh, looking or searching for the unknown. You know things that we've all had our experiences, which is why I think we're all so so hooked to it. Is because we have had our own individual experience. We've heard multiple people talk about their experience, and we're like, "All right, there's similar there's similarities between what you've experienced and what I've experienced." And you know, in certain times, and also because it mostly does kind of happen anywhere from like, you know, like eleven o'clock to about three, four in the morning. Like yeah. that's when the big like spikes are. I don't know why they say it's because. You know, it's kind of like three o'clock typing with mocking of the Trinity, but I, I don't know if it any has anything to really do with religion per se. Yeah, but it's just something out there. It's a different fucking realm, man. It, dude, there's, there's I a, love, yeah. I, dude. I love going down this rabbit hole just because it, it, there, you never fucking know. Yeah. You never have well, the answer, and and yeah. I think once you get past the the fact, you realize you're never gonna get the answer. Yeah. we're not gonna know. Well, I I think but um, it's, it's half the journey. Oh, I love it. The, dude, the journey's the best part because you don't know where you're going to be stumble, what you can stumble upon. You know, like you can be going down like, oh, I'm going to hunt for ghosts. But all of a sudden you you start learning more about like mythological creatures and folklores. And you're like, well, this is interesting. But then somehow it takes a quick turn and starts tying into what you were looking at before. You're like, maybe I'm, make, I'm making the, the correlations between them. But. At the same time, what if they actually do connect? And there's different. We've noticed over the episodes of that we've done that there are similarities between different uh, civil ancient civilizations where they have similar stories of cr- similar creatures. It's like how, what are the odds of these things just thousands and thousands of miles away having the exact same fucking stories of similar creatures and like spirits and all this shit. All right, so w- w- when you kind of get... First of all, I want to throw this out. 
um, be, just because I've been thinking about it. And, and I think what you're doing is a great thing because what you're doing is you're adding valid, validity mm-hmm. to the to the subject. I mean, you go on, on all these shows, Ghost Hunters and fucking all that, and they're so ridiculous. They're so staged. And, and uh, so what happens is the market gets fucking... It gets flooded with this bullshit. Oh, so yeah, there, there's a, sudden, a huge saturation right now yeah. on on TV with all these shows. Exactly. So so what happens is is they're they're fucking it up for everybody. They're, they're <laughs> <laughs> really they're fucking it up for everybody. Like now, like you're like you guys are actually exchanging fucking minds, uh, doing your research, doing your homework, and 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 seeing what what uh, between different occurrences. Like you yeah. guys are drawing ties between them, you know. And and that's good. This is an honest way to go about it. And you're not getting all that bullshit. So mm. I mean. Hats off to you because you're actually coming with an honest uh, gathering of ideas where you guys could actually get to the nitty gritty. You're not yeah. you're not worried, you know, the, of the smoke screen of what it is. This is true shit, and that's good. And I, I think uh, one of the the good things too is uh, actually having uh, my co-host Mike uh, on the actual ghost investigations and so forth because uh, he is uh, ex military. You know, he's a vet. And he knows the difference between like uh, actual like footsteps, human type footsteps, and like animal like steps and stuff like like animal movement. Mm-hmm. So it's good to tell. I'll be like, "Oh, dude, did you hear that?" He's like, "No, it's an, it's an animal. Like, trust me, like, it doesn't sound like like a human type of footsteps like walking. It's just it's yeah. too sporadic." So he's seasoned. So, so yeah, he, so it's, <laughs> yeah. it's it's good to have him there because he can kind of clarify if it is more like like boot steps or foots or like foot feet yeah. and stuff like that, like footsteps walking around. Or if it's just like an animal, like moving some shrubs and shit like that. Yeah. I mean, uh, an- another thing too that, uh, so since you're tapping into this, you also got to, what do you believe in? What do you believe in about uh, life? What do you believe in the afterlife um, and all that? Because really, but by investing, doing all this investigative work, that means you believe in something and you believe oh, yeah. in something and none of us know what fucking all aliens, this bro. really is. Fucking aliens. Yeah. Well, really, uh, it's That's funny. We this are. morning I had the same fucking talk. Like, uh, really, it's either you believe in paranormal activity or you don't. You either believe in aliens or you don't. And really, it's a it's a one or the other thing. Yeah. The same chances that it's possible are the same exact ch- chances that it's not possible, you know? Mm. And it's really, you know, we don't know. And, and, and so uh, I was talking to someone, they're like, you know, I know that there's alien life. How? How do you know? Yeah, you got to prove it. Well, yeah, you feel it. You feel yeah. strongly, but you don't know. Because yeah. unless you fucking have one of those fuckers crash into your back fucking yard, yeah, it's like, and, and, uh, and, and, hey, I'm fucking Martian, <laughs> you know? Unless that fucking happens, you don't know. It's like when I tell people that uh, unicorns are real, and they're like, no, there's no proof. I'm like, I will prove God. And they're like, uh, it's in a book. I'm like, so are unicorns. Unicorns and leprechauns and all that, they're in written fucking stories. People have written about them. They have seen them. Dude. They are witnesses. It's pretty much the same thing. I'm like, you can't knock one without the other. Like, if you believe in God and like Satan and demons and all this stuff, with that's all spiritual. Why can't you believe in other like uh, like zip to crawl, zip uh, cryptozoology? Wow, I fucking yeah, yeah you butchered I, that. I one. butchered the <laughs> shit out of that one. <laughs> but, cryptozoology. But wait, yeah, no, you're right. I mean, you're right and you're wrong. You're you well, you're not wrong. Neither of us are right or wrong. But what I'm mm-hmm. saying is, I mean, you, when you have an outlandish idea. And you get a society that's used to that idea, like God. Yeah. You know, like, but it's one thing is, is seeing a, a, a unicorn is kind of like a, it's like a myth, like a fucking chimera or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, we don't know. Maybe there was a fucking unicorn, you know? But one thing uh-huh. is, is God, like, I, like, so I don't really like, I don't believe in religion mm-hmm. just because it's killed more people than any fucking oh, yeah, malaria there's... disease or anything. Yeah. No, not that. But it's been, from what we get from it, is from a book, a mm-hmm. book that's been translated so yeah, many times. I, I don't, I don't know anybody who knows the old Aramaic language Across, that can translate it. Yeah, yeah, me neither. And who knows? Like maybe that version's probably translated. For, so who knows what the original yeah, because, message well, because was? Because wasn't wasn't it the Bible also translated like into like was it King James or King Henry or something Fucking like that? Like one, one of those, those one of those, guys, one of those kings like made it into his, and it's. One of, weird, yeah. One of those businessmen. One of those businessmen. Hey, it's but, all but fucking money. I, I always wonder, though, how long is it going to take for for all these new religions to become mythologies, like the the Greeks and the? Well, I think that time's over. Like the Egyptian stuff. Well, how, how uh, mythology's done? No, now but we're how, going to science. No, but how long until Christianity and Judaism and Muslim and all that stuff, like Islam and all that stuff, become a mythology? We're getting close. I think we're getting close. You think science is going to just come? I think and fuck so. everybody in the ass. Well, look at uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson said it best when he said, "Religion is 
God is a good answer for the unknown. Uh-huh. If we don't know something, oh, it's God, it's religion, it's something like that, until we know it. And then once we find that out, that once we find the answer, God is no longer the answer for that. So he goes, so what he says is, if that's going to be your mentality, that God is just the unknowing, then it's a matter of time before, you know, that goes away too. Because we're going to come up with better answers than God has, just than this God. old book that we fucking, it's, yeah. dude, to me, I believe in God just in the sense we got, I feel, I pray to God and I feel God. Like, I know it feels, it sounds weird. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe you don't. I do. Like, I feel like a presence. I there's feel. Some, I, I, there's I something feel, there's higher out there, but I don't know what. But do, do you feel, because I feel a connection. Like, when, I, when I'm when i alone with my thoughts at night, like, before I go to bed, you know, and I, I pray and it's like, I feel like I'm, I'm communing. I'm, ta- I'm not getting anything back, really, in the yeah. in the it's like a one way ways of words. It one sounds way. ridiculous, dude. Yeah. I get it. I know when you, when you justify it. I mean, when, or when you're saying it verbally, it's it's very it's 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 easy it's, to it's poke holes there, yeah. in, and it's out there. Yeah. But you can't stop the feeling. Maybe, maybe it's just <laughs> you know? uh, put it this way. It, maybe it's it, just dude. your your spiritual like side actually trying to connect with the universe. Maybe. I mean, I don't have the answers either, man. No, I, I, dude, I'm, that's why we we're hunting for it, man. Yeah, and and I don't and, think, and, you know, and, and a part of me, I I have my own theory, you know, like maybe we aren't supposed to. Maybe it's wasted time trying to figure it out. Like maybe we're not supposed to figure it out. You think about it, we're never gonna know exactly how it started. Maybe we're never li- gonna know. Maybe that's life's biggest mystery. Yeah, but maybe it's we'll, a distraction. Maybe that mystery is a distraction from living. You know, like you think mm. about it, you got these scientists chasing their fucking tails, trying to figure out where it started, what happened for what came first, the chicken or the egg, the chicken. Or, you know what I mean? Yeah. And you got these busting their busting their brains their whole lives, fucking eighty nine years old still. Oh, I still don't know. You know what I mean? Like yeah. maybe maybe we're not supposed to figure it out. Maybe, maybe that's a distraction from life. We're supposed to be focused on the now, the today, the enjoying of everything. We're not supposed to figure this out. <laughs> and the people but, that dedicate their lives to chasing their t- tails, I mean, is that not a wasted life? But I think over the, the centuries of how we've set up society, it's become really difficult to focus on the now because we're always too preoccupied on the future. Well, there's always, uh, you think about it, there's been distractions from the beginning of time. Oh, yeah. So one thing is, is we always have that option to go with what, go with, live our life the way we want to. You know, yeah, the social media, fucking drama, TV, the Kardashians, all this shit. It's oh, all just, fuck, it's all distractions yeah. that no, has that no mean meaning, nothing, no know? value. You're it, not getting it's, any it's, value. They're distractions to keep you preoccupied from your shitty fucking working nine to five fucking lies that you're just living to work to die well i mean that's a whole nother thing but i mean you got to realize distractions just what you're doing right now podcasting i mean like Mm -hmm. i said i am impressed in the amount like you know hats off to you because you've taken this full force you've been doing it for as long as i fucking you know i mean we've all that's where we kind of talk you know like we talk and i love it man and and but it's just like there's a lot of distractions to make you fucking not want to do it Myself, I want to start my own podcast, you know, but I've been distracted by life and distracted by this and that. And, you know, and it's easy. It's fucking easy. Well, it it was uh, the person who really got me to say, just fuck it. I'm going to do it is uh, Kevin Smith. I was listening to one of his podcasts and he's like, you know what? Just every time you have a conversation with a friend, it's a podcast. that's not being recorded. So just go hit fucking record on something on your phone, whatever, and just post it up and see what the fuck happens. Yeah. Why not? Just do it. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? Good fucking point. Yeah. I just I started mean, doing it from there. I, same thing, dude. I've been talking about it for a long time, and I've never taken anything. And it's like sometimes, you know, when you smoke and you get into these fucking conversations, it's just like, dude, we just touched milestones right now. That could have been on the <laughs> podcast. Here we are dicking around in the backyard dude. saying the what ifs, what ifs. Yeah. So then I started, like I told you, I started listening to the, the Joe Rogan experience, and I was listening to him faster than he was making them. So I started from the beginning, and then I realized... How basic it was. Oh, yeah. How it's, to start. It, and, it's all a uh, evolutionary thing when it comes to, to anything like this. You yes. start at the very bottom. And you start evolving more and more and more. It's a baby that yeah. grows. It's yeah. a baby that grows. You're, you're literally nursing it from the bottom yes. of Yes. Yes. And I, and that's why I want to start my own. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is the second time being on your show. And I, I, I appreciate mm-hmm. you having me yeah, on. Yeah, thanks man, for being I on, do. Man. And it's, it's always fine. a great time, you know. But it's like I want to have my own. So you could, when you have your own, you could take it in a direction. Yeah, you can run with it the way you want. Yes, and 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 I had, I had a buddy that uh, I was talking to him about. He goes, I have a buddy that does studio time, and you know, mm. if you plug in a couple of, it, and I don't mind advertisements on my yeah. shit. You know, I would do that. But 
I want to make sure that the product is ultimately how I decide to do it. I don't want I don't want to go according to anybody. You know, this is yeah. how this, you like, want your show to be. You want your show to be your show. Not yes. like I, I hate saying that when somebody has their show and then just because they're getting some kind of cash, they have to make all these changes and it completely changes the format of the show. And you're like, it's not it's not the same thing anymore. Like it's ruined. They yeah. ruined what I what I wanted. Yeah. I mean, and, and really, that's that's the beauty of podcasts is saying what you want to say. Saying however the fuck you want to say it with the same lingo that you want to say. It. Yeah. You know, you can say whatever the hell you want to say. And that's the beauty of it. It's, that's it's the, great. That's what separated the... Ra- that's why the radio is a dying fucking thing. Because yeah, you got to watch what you say. You got to... I mean, all these... Uh, you know, the, the, the funny thing is, when I was a kid, my dad would be in the car listening to talk radio. I'm like, man, this is fucking garbage. Tom like this. Tom like, this Likus. is fucking garbage. I hate it. And now I'm fucking sitting here pretty much doing talk radio. I'm like, wow, it's just on a different fucking platform. This is fucking bizarre. Yeah. And like, I enjoy it a lot more now. So I'm like, ah, I get it. You're listening to a good conversation. And not only that, we're getting the realest conversations nowadays because, I mean, the talk, like you said, talk radio, is, you, you listen to it in the car with your dad. You yeah. Know? And, and, and it's gone a long ways, though. But oh, the beauty yeah. thing about talk radio was there's actually conversations. But who knows? Sorry, um, who knows if they were fueled by a certain, you know, like a like a po- politics <laughs> constituents. Sometimes yeah. people are acting not for their own agenda, but for they're but doing for fav- somebody. Yeah. For some, a favor so it's like when you have else. these talk radio things, you don't know why they're saying that. You don't. Need, but the the days of podcasts mm-hmm. now, it's so clear. It's so this is as real as it gets. Yeah, I think in seriously in the world of podcasting, there really is a subject for everybody out there. Yeah. There really, there's something out there for everybody that somebody's gonna enjoy. So even if you think your your podcast is shit or whatever, just remember there's gonna be some people out there that are gonna enjoy it. They're gonna it's gonna be their their like daily or weekly release to just be all right. You know, fucking um, just got off work. I'll sit in the car. I'll listen to this on my drive home. You know, see what these crazy motherfuckers are up to. See what they're talking about or this and that. And yeah, it's 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 all in perspective. It, 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 Exactly what you said. I mean, that's how I got started. You know, yeah. on the way home, what what is this fucker talking about? You know, and before you know it, I realized I was getting a lot of my education from podcasts. Yeah. And before you know it, so I'm in sales. I've been I'm selling construction equipment now, but I've been in sales since fuck six years, seven years, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, a long time. But before that, I was working at Seven Eleven. Yeah. You know what I mean? So sales has been my whole thing. You know, so it's the gift of I guess they say the do gift you, yeah. of gab or whatever. Do you, do you ever listen to any like uh like those podcasts for for businessmen for like who who mo- mostly like focus on sales and stuff. No, I don't. You don't listen. To I any don't. Of those? I don't read those books either. I no, don't the- because <laughs> I, I I believe sales is, is is something different than anything else. Yeah. I mean, it's not. You know, it's it's not physics. It's not anything. Isn't it more you have to sell yourself to the person? Yes. Yeah. M- mainly, I mean, of course, you got to have a product. You have yeah. to have a, a dealership. You got to have a lot of stuff. I mean, you can't just. One thing is, is a lot of salesmen like to lie, but when you have a good product and you're and you're representing yeah, there's, good dealership, there's no need. You don't got a lot. You don't have to lie. You know. But the thing is, is sales. No one. There's no right answer. Mm-hmm. So all these bullshit. I mean. There is good books that teach you good habits mm-hmm. and good do this and you'll have better results this. Yes. But there's no black and white. This is what you do this. You do this. You're going to get the deal. You're going to know there, yeah. it's, it's, there's so too the, many factors. So like the, the best way to learn is just by getting out there and just getting out there, perfecting your craft, getting with, out with there. everything. Yeah. Which for, I for, think I think perfect is the wrong word just because I've been lied to my entire life. Like, oh, yeah, practice makes perfect. And you get to a certain age of like, nobody's perfect. But why the fuck did I practice? Like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's weird, too, because, yeah. I mean, you think about what we were taught in elementary school. So much things that we thought were, un- I mean, for instance, you learn so much math. Yeah. And it's like, I'm in sales. I use basic math. But why the fuck was I being distracted by all this other stuff? That yeah, did, a that- bunch of shit that you're not even using, dude. You're not ever. Like, you can be somebody stocking shelves, and they're still going to give you that algebra test. Like, really? When the fuck am I going to need fractions for putting a goddamn can of dog food on the shelf, bro? Like, yeah, man. I mean, uh, well, I don't, see, see what, what they're thinking is they're hope, hopefully you're not stacking fucking dog food on the shelf one day. I mean, but I mean, I, I think there's going to be a huge change in our education system just because the world is changing so fast. It's not ideal to teach us <coughs> the same shit. I mean, we, they got to start teaching about online shit, online. You yeah, know, they got to start teaching a lot of online stuff, yeah. like a, lot of, a lot of computer stuff. Yeah, they have to because otherwise, when, when they get out into the world, they're not going to be worth a damn because 
because they won't know shit. The, yeah, the world passed yeah. them by. It's and like it's like a a lot of these mechanics nowadays where. Yeah, you give them an old car and they can fix the shit out of it. But you give them one of these new ones with all the computers and shit inside of it, like, pff, bro, I don't yeah. know where to start. Like, isn't, I don't, I don't know. Isn't that crazy how yeah. fast the world is changing exponentially? Like, yeah. my dad, he he retired probably like five years ago, and he was a, a carpenter and he made good money. I mean, he he made pretty good money. He came here from Mexico when he was like eighteen, nineteen, or whatever, and a uh, hard worker, just busted his ass. And now, from what he did, like, he retired at the perfect time because a lot of those jobs aren't there anymore. Manufacture, like, hand handmade car, cabinet. No, it's all machines yeah. and shit now. You know what I mean? So it's just like, <laughs> what he learned, what got him going, it would be so, in a, uh, like, ineffective today. Mm -hmm. You know? And that that's the trip, though. I mean, Dude, it, um, how, how do you direct your kids these days? Because the world's changing so fast that we don't know where it's going to go. What, and, what direction do you point yeah, them in? And, um, and a lot of kids are actually getting, they're learning all sorts of bizarre and crazy and unique things, not from their teachers, not from the parents, but from the fucking internet. Because literally, they, they have unlimited knowledge at their fucking fingertips. Just there, or just sitting here, just da da da. Like right now, like, dude, when we were younger, we couldn't have been like, because we were in that weird stage between where we're going from pretty much like fax machines and shit to cell phones and like iPods and all. We we're in that weird fucking middle stage. Uh huh. But like, uh, if have you ever seen the the documentary Transcendent Man? No. All right, it came out in a uh, two thousand nine. Transcendent Man. Yeah, what, I'll, I'll send you the the link on it. What's but, it about? You gotta uh, do we like, gotta make a list uh, when we're done with this. You gotta make a list. A list of stuff of all the shit that you're fucking gonna recommend to me, yeah. and then we'll follow up with another podcast. and I'll tell you what I think. <laughs> I'm down with that. Yeah, let's. But do this that. Uh, Transcendent Man it's uh, directed by Barry Ptolemy or something like that, like P T O L E M Y. I butchered that name, but. It's a documentary uh, it tracks the life, work, and predictions of controversial technologist Ray Kurzweil. He believes that human and artificial intelligence will synthesize at some point in the future, blurring the line between man and machine, and transformation he terms the singularity. Kurzweil's opinions are, com are complemented by interviews with notes and personalities such as Colin Powell, Stevie Wonder, although needless to say his views also have many uh, detractors. So pretty much it, it talks about how um, we went from one point where a computer was the size of half a building to all of a sudden, like, uh, I think like 50, 50 years it's later, in it's in your fucking pocket. Yeah. yeah. So what, how's it going to be in another 50 years? They're saying by that there's a chance that by 2025, we could have uh, AI and also possibility of micro, uh, like, uh, micro robotic type things. Where, like, they'll inject them into your system. So if you get, like, a cold or you get, like, sick or something like that, they'll upload the cure, like, a cure to, uh, like, the virus and stuff like that. And then it'll go and attack those, like, uh, those cells and shit. Like, that bacteria and viruses See, and stuff. All right. So I have a... I don't... I know... Maybe I sound like a dumbass because apparently everybody in science thinks it's coming. I don't believe in AI. Um, they, I they actually have some. And I was literally reading it not too long ago. Where uh, I think Google and Facebook, they had to shut down some of their AIs because the AI started making their own languages. Like they started talking uh, in a, they started talking in like a weird fucked up English. That we can't decode. Yeah, they're like they're like oh, this, oh this. My yeah, God. they're like oh, we, like we we r r r r r r r we we i i i i, and it was just telling them oh, how many of these these things do they need? How many of this that? And they were communicating with each other. Let me tell you why I don't believe in it, and then um, and. Fucking pick it apart. Find the holes in it. Mm -hmm. I don't believe in it because what's intelligence? What do we know? You have a personality. Why do you have a personality? You have it because you... I believe we're a product of our influences. Yeah. You act the way you are because you're an influence that way. You believe in the way you believe into because you were mm -hmm. taught that way through past experiences, through generation, 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 whatever. So how, how does a machine... All right, so you're saying... Uh, say say uh, two machines are communicating, right? Yeah. And they have an agenda, yeah. Right. Who's to decide what sh what direction the agenda is um, being perpetrated for? You know what I mean? Like, uh, why? Why? How is it going to teach? Say they're communicating and they're plotting against humanity. Yeah. What taught them how to be conniving and how to be secretive and how, who taught them that? Because I, I think at that point, because what influenced them to have that side? I, I think at this point now. Um, since everything is all a part of the internet and all about that stuff, I think they can actually tap into the internet because I'm sure with all the AIs, they're going to be 
they're going to have everything inside of them. They're going to be just one giant fucking computer without emotion, but with just uh, an amazing, like, uh, intelligence, you know? Okay. But, um, <clears throat> like it says in the documentary, that we're going to make a, one AI that's so smart, like, like, five, ten times smarter than, than a human, you know? Can calculate things, like, within a second, do all this shit. Calculate. But it, it can get to the point where... Yeah, but it'll do it by itself. You ask it, like, like Siri, what's this and this and this? And it answers for you. Siri? Like right there, yeah. But imagine that, but on an instant response. What's this? Blah. What's this? Blah. Where's this? Oh, this, da, 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 da. That shit. But they're saying that there, there's a possibility of these AIs getting so smart and making another AI that's even smarter than them. And then it can be just a chain reaction of them getting making somebody even smarter than see, them. And wait, eventually, what you're it'll saying, grow into uh, like a false... Pretty much like a, a a false sense of humanity for themselves. I don't. That's what I don't. What you're saying is that the process that you're saying is very. That's a human way of thinking. That's a mm-hmm. human way. Where that's an evolutionary way of thinking. AIs don't. It's a it's a machine. It doesn't. It's a it's an intelligent. We're talking about something an intelligence that's coming from nowhere. So how is it making those milestones of oh we're gonna do this and then we're gonna do this we're gonna do that? That's a human way of thinking. Because all we need is for for one person to do uh, programming that lets them do that. Lets them do what? Make say, make like, decisions. Right, right, how, like, what's um, fueling those decisions? Like, what's right, making it, them it, go it's, left? It's instead like of right? it's like uh, playing video games. You know where they have uh, they have like AI tracking or smart AI. Where you're playing, and then eventually the game gets used to how you're playing. So then they change their strategies to how you're playing. So they can incorporate that same mentality or that same that same programming into these AIs. So it learns as it goes. It's like, okay, well, this guy's being aggressive. Maybe I should act this way, or maybe I should try to do this, or maybe do this, or I did this wrong this time. I'll try it this way because it seems more efficient and faster, and it seems more right. So it's just like a learning curve. It slowly learns as it does things. So yeah, okay. So what it is is it's learning it's it's it's, it's tracking patterns. Yeah. And it's learning from those patterns and yeah. it's all that but at the end of the day there's no emotions in it. There's no nothing. So it's just mm-hmm. like how taking but, over taking over humanity or or overcoming humanity, that's an emotion uh, no, because, action because it it also might see there there might be a point where it sees okay, well humans are are doing this wrong. This isn't efficient enough. We need to make it efficient. And we need to show them that it is efficient. We, we're trying to make because the, the their whole purpose the, the whole purpose that we're pretty much making AIs is to make things easier for us. And eventually, it's going to get to the point where we're going to make them too goddamn smart for our own good, where it's going to try to teach us how to make things easier, and we're not going to let it. And it's going to try to force it. God, I mean, it, how far do you? I mean, if you believe that this is going to happen. How far away are we? I mean, we could be. If you believe this um, is possible, we might be there. I mean, already. they're they're already working on some AIs, and I mean, according to Transcendent Man, they're saying by twenty twenty five, and it's coming pretty fucking close. Like, God where damn, they're already making some things ago, or seven years. <laughs> yeah, in the future, man. Yeah, but I'm thinking maybe by. I mean, we'll we'll probably be dead by then. I but, mean, by twenty twenty five. No, 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 not by 2025. <laughs> Shit, I, I mean, hope not. I'm thinking by like by when these things would actually be completely 100 I mean, percent efficient on their own. That's how we always hope. We hear about global warming. We hear about all this shit. Hopefully, we're dead when shit is. Yeah, dude, I don't want a beer when we fucking get fried I by got, the earth. I got in a conversation uh, with a friend uh, this morning actually, and we we're talking about like um, alien. Do you believe in aliens? Do you believe in this and that? And I'm just like, I think believing in aliens. They're tech, you know. There's supposed to be some, you know, technologies out of this world, literally off this yeah. planet. <laughs> <Da-da>. there's, <laughs> anyways, all, there's all sorts of weird shit. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, out of this world, it's supposed to be this and that. But I was just like, you know what? It's not that crazy to think that we are the only ones out there. Mm-hmm. I mean, because like we, from what we've known, a lot of these planets aren't inhabitable. Like you, they can't support life. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's just like to think that we're the only ones. Maybe not that hard. I mean. You know, and not only that, like, say we're not possibly, quite possibly, we might not be the first human civilization here. Maybe no, uh, there's uh, asteroids come, kill everything. It's a clean it. safe. Yeah, it's like an, it's, like, it's like a giant fucking etch a sketch. Yeah, so maybe we're the we've survived the longest. Say we get taken out by some fucking yeah. big thing like the movie Armageddon, that Texas sized fucking asteroid <laughs> takes us out, right? Say that takes us out. Hey, guess what? And fucking two and a half million years ago, it's gonna fucking rebuild and yeah, they're gonna have some the same more fucking th- shit and. Well, dude, right now we don't we don't even know how the fuck to build pyramids. Yeah, 
<laughs> like we don't know how to fucking build pyramids. I mean, I'm sh- I don't know how to do it. Well, I'm sure you stack I, blocks, but I can't move them. I'm sure I could come up with a pretty good idea. Yeah, <laughs> like, but, but using but but no, but using their I technology. Oh, yeah, we don't know how they did yeah. it. Well, there, there's a theory of how they moved the the blocks. It was wetting the sand before and put like doing like having a bunch of people pushing it and a bunch of people like even more people pulling it because the wet sand would create like a like a slick type of feel uh-huh. and it would just kind of glide over it a little bit. But well, even then, it's that's a fucking a lot, man. There's a theory that um, the Egyptians didn't even build the pyramids; that they inherited them. Maybe, maybe, they yeah. Do. From so the demigods. No, so hear this. So uh, there's this theory where there was a, a, a civilization got wiped out. I don't know how it got wiped out. Maybe an asteroid, maybe something. And they built the pyramids, and then all of a sudden, you know, millions of years go by. There's just quiet, mm-hmm. just nothing on Earth. Except little microbes, little like cells, turned into multi cell organisms. Before you know it, they created fish and they, you know, and then they evolved. And then all of a sudden, like humanity starts building, and all of a sudden, these fucking pyramids are already there. They just moved in, <laughs> they were just there. Don't, don't May, mind it, if I do. <laughs> it, it's not a fucking crazy out of the, you know, it's just as believable <clears throat> as anything else. Oh, yeah. It, there's definitely, if we don't know how the so fuck they built it, yeah. hey, maybe they didn't. Maybe someone fucking just else somebody did. else did. They're like, fuck it, they let's just, just draw some pictures right to make in. it look like we fucking built it. Hey, like, it's cold out here. I don't have a house. Oh, but there's this here pyramid right here. I don't know what this <laughs> is, but I'm fucking moving in, guys. <laughs> yeah. No, but supposedly, which one was the one, uh, which one's like the biggest one uh, of those pyramids? Like, Pyramid of Giza, right? Yeah, I think. They said that that one was like actually covered in gold or some shit or like painted in gold. And it was just ridiculously fucking bright during the day. It was like one of the brightest things you could see. You know, it, it's crazy. Like we're, we're intrigued by these different things. and But really, none of it matters because we're such we're here for so short amount of time. And then like humans have been here, what, 15,000 years? Yeah. And the, the, they, the estimated age of the Earth is like seven and a half billion years or three and a half billion. I think it's three mm-hmm. and a half billion years or something like that. But just like dude, this is all just nothing. Yeah, it's just it's fucking it's weird. A hundred like, years and you figure <laughs> we've been here for so long we still don't know shit. Yeah, like, <laughs> but we know more about space than we do our own ocean. Yeah, that's Isn't what that tripping the crazy? fuck out. Yeah, and we st- we still haven't. We're not sure if we've found the deepest part of the ocean yet. We think we found we found one of the deepest or two of the deepest spots. I think the but trench, we've only the yeah, Mariana, the trench, Mariana Trench. Yeah. yeah, but we've only found like we've only really searched like five percent of the ocean. That and, and you know, the other day I saw I heard a, a statistic how like we're we're fishing we're fishing too much fish out of the ocean or something and mm-hmm. by this X amount of year how the fuck do we know we've only seen twenty five of them or or five yeah, percent of the motherfucker. Dude, there's so know. much fish out there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like how it wasn't too long ago where we barely found the existence of the giant squid. Yeah, a big old fucking thing that attacks whales. You know they found yeah. they found this fucking uh, what do they call those those uh, those suction cups that those squids oh, yeah. have. They found one so big that they're estimating the size of the squid that they came on. The Kraken might have been very much real. I'm sure it's probably still around, man. Yeah, like who knows? We yeah. don't know what the fuck's down there. You're going to tell me that we're overfishing these waters. We're running on fish? Huh? Dude, Just go to the other side where we po- haven't yeah, seen. There's a possibility that Megalodon is still out there. Fuck. Because they've found like giant like 15 to 17 foot sharks with giant fucking bites in them. You know they found teeth like megalodon teeth in like North Dakota or something like that. That's how you know how Jesus. much the planet has changed. Yeah, like you know, like what we see as the ocean, what we see as land, fucking a few million years ago, it looked nothing like this. Oh, nothing at all. So it's California like, was still just a desert, and just a shithole desert. Yeah, it still is. Just yeah. more people. <laughs> just more people <laughs> with fake grass. Dude, it. Hey, we are so fucking. It's funny because I always get into this uh, conversation with the vegans. You know, yeah. like, <laughs> you know, I, I love. They get so fucking emotionally invested. Yeah. You know, but it, it's a fucking good time every time. But anyways, <laughs> I go with them and, and uh, we, you know we'll go head to head and they're talking about how much like we don't have enough or we. We don't need to eat all this food, all this meat. We could just, you know, we don't have to factory farm. We have all these acres of land. We could just do all this grass and just everything. Yeah, but if we don't have enough water to fucking feed our own people. Yeah. Like, just last year, we are in a drought, right? Yeah. yeah. Fucking a, a, a bad drought. No, this We yeah. needed this winter. 
Yeah, this, this, winter, this past winter was was good. Yeah, we it needed it. Yeah. We needed it. We were like what four or five years in a fucking huge drought. Dude, last year we, I remember seeing the news like there's all this panic fucking at this rate we got to cut down. They started um, you can only water your grass like two days a week and it has yeah. to be at this time or but something. But it was retarded because they would fine you for having shit grass and then yeah. they would fine you for using too much water. But, it's like really. But what I'm saying is there's a panic going on. Yeah. If it wasn't for this rain this past winter, we would have been fucked. Like if it, you know. But anyways, so they want to put all the, you know, factor farm. I think it's a horrible thing. It sucks for the cows. You know, mm. it does. But I think like the amount of our population and all that, we kind of need it now because we can't have. Say we don't do uh, factory farming. We, we don't feed them corn and stuff. We go grass fed. How are we going to water all those yeah. acres of well, grass? Well, we don't have enough water to feed ourselves. How well, are we the, fucking water the, grass? the one thing that we can do that I think it's either in like I think it's in Dubai think they've done either do or like abu dhabi or something like that or some some shit like that one uh-huh. of those where um they actually have a desalinization plant so they're taking they're using ocean water taking the salt out of it and now they have just this desert out there just has an abundance of fresh water that they can use because they're taking it from the ocean taking the salt out i mean they have like one or two giant plants out in the fucking ocean just pumping out salt water and just like fuck it take the salt out pump out the fucking fresh water and we got shit going all day as much as we fucking want. Joe Rogan has a funny bit. He says, you know what? Fucking, they're talking about how we don't have enough water. No, we have plenty of water. Have you seen the fucking Pacific Ocean? We don't have a water problem. We have a salt problem. <laughs> it's <laughs> true, we man. We gotta get the salt. Yeah. Out of but they, they, they actually have those fucking plants out there that, that do remove salt from water. It just costs a lot to make. We're on the cusp, but we're, we're learning something. Look at all that when you're brushing your teeth, all that water's going in the sink. Yeah, you don't want to drink that water, but yeah. that could go. Dude, that could fucking feed the the grass. Dude, that water's way better than the water in, in fucking Flint, Michigan. They would love to have that water right now. Yeah, is that where they're having that? Uh, yeah, the the nasty the the flacking and shit like that. Wait, what was that one that I? I it was I, like brown yellow water, and some of it can catch on fire and shit. And where was that at? Where the natives like they had their their land and they wanted to put this pipeline through? Which pipeline was it? Like? No, it was North Dakota, North Dakota, uh, the, the Dakota Pipeline. Then, yeah, yeah. that's the it. Dakota Pipeline. Yeah. Dude, that thing went south so quick, man. Uh, like they fought, they fought, and dude, like how the fuck are we still taking land from the Native Americans? Well, I don't how th- the fuck is that still legal? Th- first of all, I don't think it's taking land anymore. We already took their land. Like, yeah, <laughs> it's well, what, what, gone. what little land they have, like the the reservations, we're still just running through their shit. They're like, dude, that's gonna fuck up our water. Like, what the fuck? See, it's you know it's weird. It, it, that's a weird. That's a weird subject, because what, I mean, they've been taken over. Like you think, and say in Europe, mm-hmm. wherever Germany was taken from, whatever it was uh, before, or wherever even before when they took it, United States is the only people that still give rights to the people that they took their shit from. Yeah. Everybody else just like, hey, this was your shit. Guess what? It's 2017. Now it's our shit. And what are you going to do? <laughs> you know? Hey, but but it's just like, we're the only... The, these people... It's hard to say this without coming off as a prick. You know what I mean? <laughs> but these people, like the, the natives, you know, like, yeah, they were their land was taken, but it was taken a while ago. Yeah. You know, it's taken away. Assimilate. You, you kind of got to move with it. You, your your it's, it's ancestors kinda, yeah, it, your it's ancestors hard to, lost something. Well, it, I think it's it's mostly the way that they lost it that still I, I pisses that. them off. I get that, but your ancestors lost something. Why are you entitled to something that they lost when every the whole world was taken from something from someone from some time? Yeah, you know. So why are you still entitled to different things that were not you didn't suffer? I didn't suffer. Yeah. I didn't but, reap but the benefits. But when it, we're all when, reaping yeah. the benefits. No, of but it. when it becomes. Uh, a written thing down on paper where there's conscious saying that we can't take any more land and it's still being taken away like that little land that we gave them and it's still being slowly stripped away from them and yeah. it is in written like form where our country is based on you know written contracts and legality and all this stuff yeah. but yet we're still breaking those laws chipping away at their land little by little you're right I mean and shit. I mean it's messed up if we're because that's what our country is based off of, is just they try to go through the whole legality. So what? So and what's it's, the it's best being, move? What's the best move? Give them land. Give them their own country. Why don't we just give them their own little? But where country? would it be? Give fucking them Delaware, Wyoming. Give them fucking yeah. Wyoming. Who gives a fuck? 
<laughs> Give them that one. Who cares? Hey, 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 I can make a small Delaware. list. I can make a small <laughs> list of places to go. Give them. <laughs> <laughs> give them Maine. Yeah. Give them Maine. Uh, take all Maine. the Maine people are like, what the fuck, dude? And I'm like, hey, sorry, here? Man, hey, hey, here, in, here in California, we don't give yeah. a fuck. Dude. But, but yeah, it was just like, what I, do, I don't what do think do? they. I don't think they would take Florida if we gave it to them. Florida is just so fucking humid. I mean, it's nice. Uh, oh, my God. It's so humid. So for work, I flew out to Georgia a few weeks ago. Retarded humid. That's how yeah, it's, it's so humid. Oh my god, dude! You got to shower. If you want to be fresh, you got to shower three times a day. Yeah, if you're lucky. Yeah. Get out. <laughs> hey, when you get up, when you wake up, shower. Yeah. When you get off work, shower. And then if you have any activities after that, you got to shower after that yeah. because you're fucking sweating. You're all always, day. always sweating. It, it started sprinkling, and then it's it wasn't it was even cold. It was hot. It's yeah. sprinkling. Now I got warm water. Fucking. Oh, <laughs> you got sprinkling. Like, dude, when we were in Florida, we got just downpours, like 10, 15 minute down. Pours. What were we doing in Florida? Uh, vacation. We we're out in Miami, and then uh, after our cruise, we we ended up going to uh, Hollywood, Florida. So nice. We were there for, dude, Good it was, for you. It was fun, but it was a long two weeks, man. Two yeah. weeks is way too long of a vacation. Yeah, that's the thing. I was talking to a friend recently, and they want to go to Europe for a month. I'm like, a month? Fuck. Like, mm-hmm. the thing is, is when you're on when you're on vacation, yeah, you want to go sightseeing, but you also want some time to just relax yeah, and chill. Back. But say you're kicking back for a couple of days, it's like, am I wasting my time? I'm here, I am in Europe, and I'm sitting on my ass. Yeah. But it's just like, but you're relaxing yourself. I feel like two and a half weeks, good. Yeah, for Europe, of course, yeah, never for been, Europe, yeah, so two, two or something weeks. But a month, that's way too fucking long. But yeah. I think on that, we're gonna we're gonna end it because we do have some other cool other shows. We'll do your thing, man. Hey, thanks for having me on. Yeah, we're at like 50 minutes or something like that. But cool. uh, hold on, let's let's just run this. Dude, I like that to fade out. Right. Oh, yeah. It's fine.